welcome to my channel. My name is Kerry. Hello if you are new and thank you for choosing my video to watch today. Today's video is our weekly family shop. Um, it is, it's got three elements to it. I'm going to show you my gin subscription box that I get only because the customer service I received was fantastic and they deserve a shout out just because it was brilliant. It's not sponsored, it's not affiliated, but it's brilliant. I think, well, when I subscribed, it was 50% off your first two boxes. So you get the box of gin with all the extras and all the mixes and the magazine and everything for 20 pounds, which is brilliant. And you can cancel it afterwards if you want to. So I'll leave a link below if anybody's interested, if you like gin, it is the summer, obviously. Uh, so cocktails are uh, allowed. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you the gin box. Um, the last month's gym box, it, it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant, and just the customer service was great, and they just rectified everything and went above and beyond, so I'm going to show you that. And then my uh, veg box has been delivered, I don't know what's in it, so I'm going to unbox it and show you as I unpack it and see what's in it. It looks really good, it looks huge, so I'm going to show you what's in there, and then I've got an Asda shop arriving as well, Asda delivery, so once I've been through the veg box and decided what we're going to have for tea, I'll amend my Asda order, which comes in the morning, and that'll be at the end of the video. So without further ado, here is uh, the gin subscription box, first off. So here is the Craft Gin Club um, box that we've received. So what happened is I joined because they have a special offer on where you get 50% off your first two boxes, and which made it £20. So um, for, for a £35 bottle of gin and mixers and snacks and a magazine, and I think that's brilliant. It's, well, it is brilliant. It's amazing. And um, so this one's worth £63, everything in it, including the delivery and everything like that. Um, but... This is the July box and they had sent me the June box by mistake and one of the bottles was leaking um, and we didn't realise it was the wrong box and we'd opened a packet of crisps and biscuits for the children that came with it. So I rang, I emailed them and told them what had happened and apparently a few boxes have gone out wrong and so they've sent me this one as well for free, which is amazing. I mean, they didn't want me to return the other book, or, book box or anything. So I thought I would show it to you. I'll leave a link down below. It's not affiliated. It's not sponsored or anything like that. I just think it's really good. And obviously, if you can get your 50% um, off as well, and you get the box for £20, you could even just keep the first two box, do the first two boxes and then um, cancel it. You don't have to keep doing it. So you can either do it monthly, three monthly or six monthly, I think. Maybe I might have that wrong. So I've got a bottle of Chemist American Gin. We've got some bitter lemon and two tonic waters from Mulberry Creek. We've got some Sicilian lemon, lemonade, um, ooh, from Devon, that's where we're going on holiday, from Luscombe and Devon, um, which uh, lemonade and gin is really nice. And some elderflower and mint. Uh, what is this? Alcoholic sparkling water. Oh, yes, delicious, like a seltzer. And, and then one of these, this will be the cocktail of the month or something, a peach gin iced tea, so we'll make that with the gin. We've got some baked pretzels, some maple syrup and pecan fudge, delicious. Some peanut butter, I don't like peanut butter, but Steve likes it. So we've got two, um, original roast and then a deep roast. And some smoky barbecue almonds, he loves nuts as well, so he like that. And this is some garnishings for, oh, there's, what is it, lime and blueberries for, to make another cocktail. And then a magazine, and in the magazine it gives you... So, oh, crossword, recipes, and it tells you about the gins and everything you've got. And then it gives you, like, all the cocktails you can make with everything that they've um, sent you. It's really, really good. I really like it. And it's a lovely treat or even a gift for somebody or something. But I just thought I would show it. Here is this week's veg box. And excuse my uh, wire, I'm charging at the same time. I don't have a lot of battery, but we're just going to go with it. So uh, £30 for all of this. I mean, there's so much of it there. We've got some celery. The biggest celery I think I've ever seen. It's absolutely huge. This is from Hexenshire Organics, as it always is. It's the best around. A great big, I think it's a sweetheart cabbage. 
I don't always know what's in the box when things arrive, so we'll have to see. I've got a lovely bouquet of herbs from Anne. She is uh, one of the farmers, her husband and wife team, Anne and Bob. Lovely, we've got a marigold, we've got some flowered mint, some sage. Absolutely gorgeous. And what else have we got? I'm going to pop this down on the tripod so we can have a look and I can show you. We have got some rainbow chard. You know what, if you've watched me, this, my videos before, you know I love rainbow chard. Lovely rainbow chard. Oh, the cabbage is huge. And lettuce. Gorgeous lettuce. The size of that lettuce. And we've got some, is this sorrel? I think, oh no, beetroot. Oh, my, let's see. Uh, a, a courgette, <laughs> a great big courgette. Another courgette, oh, one of my spoons has fallen down. Another courgette. Well, I think we're having courgettes this week, aren't we? <laughs> and another one, a yellow one, a yellow courgette. And what else? Carrots, got any carrots, carrots with, ooh, carrots with the tops, absolutely gorgeous, I don't know where to put it all, let's see, uh, some kale, very curly kale, absolutely lovely, move this box along, I'm probably going to be better tipping the box up like I've done before, get the beetroot out, oh yes, ooh. and a, um, what is it? A broccoli. <laughs> I'm losing my words. And some beetroot. Let's have a look. Let's put these down. We have got, let's see what else is in here. Uh, a cucumber. Gorgeous cucumber. It's all grown about three or four miles away from us. And we've got some potatoes. Oh, tomatoes. Oh, I've been looking forward to these. And if you can see them in there, all the different colours of tomatoes. And we've got onions and a great big bag of potatoes. There's a stray carrot down there. And that is our fruit and veg from the farm. Well, not fruit. Well, the tomatoes are fruit, aren't they? From the farm this week. There we go. I think that all looks absolutely delicious. Look at it all. And it's organic. I mean, £30 for all of that organic veg. And they've left the tops on the celery, which, um, not the celery. Well, yes, the celery. I'll use that in salads. And on um, the, sorry, I'm just my tripod's wobbling. And on the beetroot. Um, so we can use that as well, just the same as we'd use the chard. And um, we've got kale and some lovely salads. And two great big squashes and um, courgettes. I mean, I think they're a bit big as a soup bowl, aren't they? They're huge. <laughs> But we'll see what we're going to do. And um, oh, we've got a golden beetroot. I love these ones. And uh, yes, so that is this week's veg box. So I'm going to go and have a little think and amend my Asda order. I've got all my essentials in there. It's due tomorrow morning between 9 and 11. And then I will um, come up with a meal plan based, well, not based around the fruit and veg box, but incorporating everything. The beetroot I'm going to pickle. Um, I think most definitely unless I come up with something else. And the carrots and the celery obviously get used up into recipes and the potatoes I'll get used and the tomatoes and lettuce and cucumbers, lovely salad ingredients. And then um, I'll just get the rest of the fruit that I need and any other vegetables from the market tomorrow as well and order my other bits and bobs from Asda. So if you just bear with me, <laughs> the next slide should be the uh, fruit and veg from the market and um, the rest of the fruit and veg. We go through a lot in this house and the uh, food from as Here's the, uh, the quick shop from the market that I've just picked up the things that I didn't have that came from the farm from Bob and Anne. Uh, we've got some apples, we've got pink ladies and raybuns, some huge big nectarines, some lemons, uh, some mixed salad to go with the lettuce that we've got, some spinach for, I want to make callaloo, but I can't get callaloo in the UK, which is like spinach, but it's Caribbean. Um, so I'm going to use spinach instead. Garlic and ginger, some spring onions, a giant cucumber, some sweet potatoes for panko for katsu, some maris pipers for mashed potato, 
two lots of British strawberries to smell really, really nice. And some mixed peppers and some bananas. That was £17. And then here's the Asda shop. And here we have the Asda delivery. It came to £91.94. Get that out of the way with uh, first. Don't need you hanging around waiting for the price. Um, and it's okay. I mean, things do seem to be a little more expensive. I have got a couple of expensive items, but um, there's not much meat. But it, but it was okay. I didn't feel like it was too bad. So I didn't need much in the way of toiletries and things this week. So we've just got some kitchen towels. Uh, they were on offer. So I've got those ones. A couple of little cups for the children. Um, the the non-spill ones. And it's easy to like stick them in your bag and etc. They're only uh, three and four. So they still need the little flip cups. Um, I think they were like, they might have been 150 each or something. Two Dove shower gels. I'm pretty sure I only ordered one, but I have to double check. I'd ordered two and then one was out of stock, but maybe maybe it wasn't. Anyway, two different ones. Uh, some treats for the kids. We've got some whispers and some chocolate Freddo faces, some fingers and some uh, snack shortcake biscuits. And we've also got some Maltesers. We're going to have a little movie afternoon because the weather is miserable this week. We've got some crisps, uh, beefy ones, Worcestershire sauce, and oh, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, or even just Worcester sauce, I suppose, and fish and chips. Um, my little boy picked which crisps he wanted. We've got some honey Cheerios and bran flakes and the Weetabix protein crunch chocolate. I like always like to get something with a little bit more protein in because I don't eat meat. The Cheerios. Um, and the Weetabix were two for four pounds. I went to buy the small Cheerios and it was one pound ninety five for the smaller box, or it was two boxes for four pounds. It works out they were two pounds each, so it was obviously that was a good deal. And two boxes of Belvita soft bakes. I think I've mentioned before I struggle to get the children to eat breakfasts. They're not that keen on cereal, so we always try different ones. But I always have some breakfast bars in the cupboard just in case they don't eat the cereal just to fill them up especially if they're at school or if we're having a day out and some brunch bars which are handy for brunch for them obviously uh two loaves of bread we've got a super seeded and a farmhouse white some doritos these were two for three pounds maybe so two for 250 we've got the slightly salted ones and some cool original some fever tree italian blood orange soda really really nice especially with gin and some uh, hot salsa um salsa i forgot that i ordered that so i've got another one but never mind and some this fiesta mesa which i've never heard of before nacho cheese love a nacho cheese with my uh, doritos while we're at the home cinema which is just the tv on and the curtains closed <laughs> some pickling vinegar for the beetroot that i've received in my farm box uh coconut milk for a uh, curry and one for in the fridge, some black eyed beans, might do some rice, some Jamaican rice, and I don't like kidney beans, so I use black eyed beans instead. Peanuts for some Thai food, I think. I'm not sure, can't remember. Scotch bonnet chilies for the Caribbean food that I'm going to make. Um, nothing reminds me of the Caribbean like Scotch bonnet. I love them. I miss the big selection of um, local peppers. That I used to buy when we lived in the Cayman Islands. Um, everything was so expensive except these were all locally grown and you got the seasoning ones which had the same flavour but without the heat or then you had the hot ones. But I just loved them. They were really really good. I'm going to see if I can grow some next year. Um, some eggs for making cupcakes with the children through the week because we're on holidays so I'm trying to think of things to do with the children and for dippy eggs and soldiers for breakfast and pancakes etc some tonic water for gin and tonic obviously although I do have some um something else that I might use it with and have it as a soft drink as well because the fever tree mediterranean is really nice pine nuts for pesto in case you want to make pesto and basil as well I have got um, 
some carrot tops as well with the carrots and so I might do some do a little pesto it's always handy to have in or to make some up in case we change our minds or we end up short of time for tea some rye bread Isaac likes this with his lunch sometimes instead of sandwiches my little boy he likes peanut butter on rye bread I think that's what he has with his daddy brown lentils for meat well meatballs <laughs> I'm going to make uh, some sort of lentil balls instead of meatballs some long grain white rice to go as a side with food some uh, bacon flavour super noodles Isaac and Eris like these ones the best they're a really handy lunch panko breadcrumbs for katsu curry some Ritz crackers as snacks Pank Paxo for Sunday uh, cold pressed rapeseed oil instead of extra virgin olive oil I've looked it up it is cheaper which I already knew and it is better for you they're both really really good for you in different ways that this one has something to do with cholesterol I think the the I can't remember it I'm not going to go through it all because I'll get it wrong but I looked it up and it was really good for you and it's British as well so hopefully British I put my teeth back and speak properly it's British as well and actually I popped in well I popped into Waitrose there's gaps everywhere on the shelves so we'll see it, I think it's a combination of everything that's happened over the last couple of years so um lime juice uh for recipes here's my cheese selection as always <laughs> uh four cheese blend and fiery cheese blend just for on the tops of things and or for pizzas some cheddar didn't have any cheddar in and I really like this cheese it's just like a regular cheddar. I really like the Asda one. It's my favourite, I think. Dairy cheese strips for the kids for lunches and things. I'm trying not to tip my phone up because there's a shadow. I've had to put the light on. It's midday, but it's so dark outside. It's about to rain. So I do apologise uh, for the shadow. I need to get like a little light around my phone and my camera for handheld ones so I can um, hold them without a shadow. Anyway, some mozzarella for pizza. Um, some tofu. I don't like tofu. I, I don't think I like tofu. So I've got two different types of tofu. This is just firm tofu. And I'm going to attempt to make things with them and try it. I'm going to give it a go because if I can find a way to prepare it and add flavour to it and for it not to be meat-like, uh, I think I've explained it before, I don't like the taste and the texture of meat. So if I can do that, um, I'll add a whole new range of things to my um, diet and to my options for making dinners and things. So watch this space. It will be in a video near you soon, either in disgust or absolute joy because I found a way to do it. So if anyone's got any really good recipes, send them my way. I don't know what to do with it. I'm going to try and make crispy tofu. I think that might be the best way to try it first. Maybe like a, a southern fried crispy type thing. But we'll see. I'm going to try <laughs> some uh, noodles. Crunchy. Uh, sorry, not noodles. Bean sprouts to go with noodles. Bean sprouts. Oh, I'm overexcited about the tofu. <laughs> Bean sprouts to go with noodles. Bacon and sausages, two for four pounds. I just thought those ones looked interesting. Uh, they'll be for dinner on Sunday. Bacon for breakfast on Sunday. We're going to have breakfast sandwiches. Fish cakes, woo! Careful, Kerry. Fish cakes for the children to try. They've never had them before. They like fish bites. They like cod. They like fish fingers. So just something different. Hash browns for breakfast sandwiches. And some uh, fries for... Easy teas for the children. I'll probably do those with the fish cakes um, just for an easy tea one night or if I'm doing something that they particularly don't like. Cooked ham. I thought this was out of stock and I'm pretty sure I, I thought it had been removed from the trolley but it mustn't have been so. Um, they're just, it's got 15th of August on it so it's got two weeks on so it's absolutely fine. So these are the ones that I replaced it with. Oven baked and honey roast two for 250 but they've all got nearly two weeks on so it'll be fine. Everyone... Uh, well, Steve and the children can eat them in sandwiches. Or if my eldest son comes over, he'll have it in sandwiches as well. And uh, yeah, so that was that was uh, Asda, which was ninety one ninety four. 
there we go and then we've got a little waitrose shop which is expensive obviously because it's waitrose but because there's some alcohol in there they do a lovely selection of like special ales and beers and things so i can't help it and waitrose is 59 pounds 17. so I do, I do go in there for the speciality things though i don't go in for regular food unless i've forgotten something like these i've forgotten to order some so therefore our breakfast sandwiches on sunday some jalapenos which i'd forgotten as well um i'll put those on top of our uh, nachos our like home cinema nachos this i thought looked amazing i do like a bloody mary with gin instead of vodka um so i thought i'd have a bloody mary i've got some tomato juice in the cupboard i thought that would be fun to try it was just with um you know like where the big toms are and things in the supermarket was there and we've got some rice noodles for pad thai some baby button mushrooms i'm going to breadcrumb those panko them to go with our katsu curry some piadina flatbreads two little packets for the little mini ones for lunch times we love piadinas but they're expensive i mean they were 80 pence and there's only four in them they're tiny so i'm going to see if i can learn how to make them see how we make them i can make big batches of them they last a few days some more salsa because i'd forgotten that i'd already bought spicy salsa but this is chipotle and that'll be really delicious and then some vine ripened tomato salsa which is just mild for the children in case they want to have a, a, few, a little bit of salsa with some nachos cooking salt i'm going to just put this into like um a mason jar um instead of having a like a cardboard tube of salt to pour in and then I can scoop it out with my uh, measure, measuring spoons when I'm cooking when it's for food and some organic white miso so we're going to try and make some miso soup and um, some udon noodles I love udon noodles I make some um, miso noodle soup as well possibly udon noodle soup this is probably not the way to do it and not Japanese, but I did remember, um, I can't remember your name. I'm so sorry. Whoever commented and said, keep this in the fridge. So that's definitely going in the fridge and some jerk seasoning because I'm feeling all Caribbean. Extra firm tofu. This is the one I'm going to use to make crispy, I think, rather than just the firm one. Now I think of something else to do with the firm one. I really have no idea what I'm doing um, with the tofu, but help, please. And then some drinks. I've got some um, waitros are having a like a thing in where it's like Italian food on one bit and then Spanish on the other and have a Spanish meal, which is sort of how I've planned our meal plan, but not quite the same. So it was quite exciting. Uh, some Aperol and some Prosecco to make Aperol spritz. I thought that would be fun fun because we're going to have pizza which is italian i'm going to make really thin based pizzas so i have some aperol spritzes some grenadine to make some cocktails with with the gin that we've got and we might have something else i keep them all up on top of the cupboard i'm just looking to see what's there uh or maybe not but um you can drink this on its own as well apparently if you add water because this is concentrated and it's sugar free and that was cheaper than the full sugar one so that's why i bought that one um yeah so that was it's just a, i think i really really i've never seen grenadine like this before it's like oh that's posh and then for Steve, i've gotten him some innocent gun caribbean rum cast he loves that one and the peroni grand Res reserva and then these three new ones if anybody's interested in their beers um, that I spotted in Waitrose that we've not had before. This one is a tropical, um, fruity, citrusy one. This is also a citrusy uh, IPA. That one's India Pale. Oh yeah, that one's an IPA, India Pale Ale, obviously. That one's a hazy IPA. Um, and this is a brand new, um, not a distillery. What are they called? Uh, brewery brand new brewery apparently and then some northern monk which is local and this is uh faith um hazy pale ale or hazy pale as they as, as, uh, apparently they say on a podcast that my husband's been listening to so he thinks this is amazing and that one is a citrusy one as well i think um you've got to have faith i wonder if it's a reference to george michael surely not but um yeah 
it's got the Angel of the North on there. It's um, a really nice little local brewery as well, uh, the North Monk stuff. Well, local to the northeast. So I've waffled about beers enough. <laughs> so there is uh, Waitrose and there's Asda. Um, so all together we had our veg box and then my market shopping, Asda and Waitrose. And it came to £198.11 for everything. And we've got quite a lot of stuff. And we've got um, food to make some really good meals. I'm going to turn you around to my menu board on the fridge and show you what our meal plan is for this week and it's really quite interesting and it's, it's obviously it's not going to be perfect to the the meals that i found it's just gonna be my take on them but um yeah so stay with me and i'll show you our meal plan with what i'm going to make with all the goodies that we've bought this week and here is our meal plan so i was struggling to think of things and i do like a theme so we're going with the olympics uh, so it's not based on what the different athletes would eat because um, I wouldn't fare very well at that, I don't think. So it, I've got a different uh, item from around the world. It is my take on them. They're not going to be exact. So I do apologise if you are from this country and I'm making it completely wrong or describing it wrong. But it's um, sort of my take on these meals. So starting Saturday 31st of July, we are having pizza, which is Italian, and they will be very thin pizzas. And they're probably just going to be traditional margaritas. And then Sunday, we're having bangers and mash from Great Britain. And we'll have that with some cabbage on the side and some carrots and, and all the, the trimmings for a Sunday. And then I'll show you this a little bit in a second. And then on Monday, we're having spaghetti and inverted commas meatballs as it's made with lentils. But that will be... Um, our USA dish as I looked it up and I believe it, it did originate in the USA by Italian immigrants might be wrong apologies if I do but that's what we're having Monday Tuesday we're having chickpea curry and callaloo which is Jamaican uh, I couldn't find anything I don't think the Caymanian well that's because that's the one that I know the most uh, athletes actually made it to the finals I did check I might be wrong I'm really sorry if I am uh, so we're doing Jamaican and we've actually just been watching the uh, 100 meter um 100 meter sprints ready for the semis ready for the final and they've been really exciting and then on Wednesday we're having Ethiopian um I did not know but in Ethiopia they fast twice a week where but what that means is they don't eat meat so they have lots and lots of vegetarian meals. Um, so we're going to have misio wat, which is like a spicy red lentil stew with gomen. I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong, which is like Ethiopian collard greens. So, but I think you'll see more Ethiopian things from me because I never knew. They have loads of different uh, meat-free recipes or meat-free meals and foods. So they can eat them while they're um, fasting from meat on Wednesdays and Fridays, I think it is. I've been on Wikipedia, you can tell, can't you? <laughs> and then Thursday will be katsu curry, which is Japanese. Obviously, I don't eat meat, so it will be vegetables that will be uh, pankoed. And I'm going to try and make the curry sauce myself, the katsu myself, because I couldn't find um, the golden curry blocks, which is the one that I like. So I'm going to try and make that myself. And then Friday, we'll have pad thai um with or without tofu i'm not sure yet haven't decided uh but the um the, it will be there somewhere and i'm going to just experiment with it so i will show you in a video what i get it to with the tofu um and then these are just ideas we're going to have for lunches um kartoffelsuppe which is a german potato soup because so i've got lots of potatoes and have those little flatbreads one day i'm going to make miso soup i do love soup for lunch a jacket potato with some leftovers. So if there's any chickpea curry left or missy or what, we'll have that with jacket potato one day. And then those huge big round courgettes, I'm going to make a courgette and mint soup. And hopefully I'll be able to freeze some of it as well. So we'll have things in the freezer. And there is our um, menu from around the world. And then hopefully next week we'll have another one from around the world. I think it's a good way to do it. And then you've got a really... We're going to have a different flavour every day and something completely different. I probably should have put on there my Aperol spritzes with the pizza as well, because I'll definitely be having one of those later. Um, but yeah, there's our there's our meal plan. Um, and I think it looks um, really varied and really interesting. I'm really, I'm looking forward to everything on there. I think the Monsieur, 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 Monsieur what? Well, however you pronounce it, I think that's going to be my favourite. 
I love red lentils, so I think that'll be really interesting. And the kartoffel zuppa. That'll be nice. Anyway, I'm, I'm just staring at my meal plan now, thinking about what I'm going to eat. So I'm going to go and get some lunch. I'm going to edit this and have it up for you. Thank you so much for watching all the way uh, to the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I haven't been around. Um, like I said, we've been away on holiday, um, but hopefully it'll be a little bit more regular for you now. Um, the next video will be a really easy homemade bread recipe. I make bread loads, so I thought I'd pop a recipe video up for it. You don't need anything fancy. You can do it with your hands or you can use a machine or a mixer or whatever. So that'll be up hopefully in the next day or so. And then on Tuesday, I'll be back with another Meals of the Week. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.